So, guys, um, I know it's been a while since I um, said that I was going to make this video, but um, a lot of things have been coming up recently and I just haven't had time to make this video, so sorry about that for all of you who've um, waited. And, um, yeah, so I'll just go through this video with you. Um, it's the tutorial, the first part of the tutorial um, of how to do telekinesis. Um, what I've just shown you then was how to move a very light object, okay? This is a very light object. Um, right now, it's probably been probably f six months, probably not that long, but yeah. It's probably been a while since I've started learning how to do telekinesis. This is very light. I can now move um, not big rocks, not that far. But I can move, well I have nothing to show you right now <laughs> which I, I can move, but I can move heavy things like a couple of mugs at a time even. Um, I can't be bothered going into the kitchen and go grab some, but this is very light. So um, give it a few months and you might be able to do this. Okay, the first part, step one. Clear, don't clear your mind, clear your mind, do whatever, okay, do whatever feels best because a lot of sites will tell you to clear your mind, um, uh, make everything calm, meditate. I find that to be bullshit because what I believe in is whatever suits best for you is the best way you're going to be able to do this. If, if you don't work well in, um, in a clear state of mind, if you need things going on in the background, um, go for it, okay? Because I used to need music in the background. I've now grown past that. I can now just like um, fill my mind up with, because I need a lot going on up here. So I can fill my mind up with a lot of thoughts and it will make moving objects a lot easier. So whatever you work best in, maybe you need some music in the background, a movie in the background, something going on. Um, or like, just challenge yourself. Oh, sorry about that. Challenge yourself beforehand. Read a book. Get your mind thinking. If that's what you need. If you work best with a clear mind, by all means do that. Okay? So, um, first of all, get into the right state of mind. Okay, that's step one. Great, get into the right state of mind. Second of all, pick a light object. Okay? Now, saying that this is a light object, this is a light object for me. A light object for a beginner would be a pen. Okay? Or even... No, no, not a pencil. Pencils tend to be a bit heavier than um, pens, because pens are a lot hollower. But whatever's the lightest, okay? Grab a light, long object. Okay, I say long because you don't want a small object that could just go anywhere. You want something that will just go in one movement. Okay? I, I still struggle at moving things, like, around. I can, um... my I'm pretty much good at doing this. And not really as levitating as much, okay? I'm more of a pushing force. I can't really levitate objects that well. It The, the most I go is like this, and it'll just drop. Okay, I haven't got it, got it to that point, okay? So just saying. Um, I've been doing this for a while now, and um, yeah, so that's step two. So step one is get in the right set of mind. Step two is pick a good object. Okay, to actually do it. Okay, sit there. Just get everything going. Get get into your eyes, set of mind, and look at the object you want. Okay, visualize this object. Okay, visualize the surrounding area. Know what you're working with. Know the environment you're working with. Don't just picture an object and nothing else, because at the end of the day, you're working with the whole environment around it as well. So it's not just this, okay? So yeah, do that. Um, I, I'm actually, I don't know what step I'm up to, so this is probably the fourth step. Fourth step. Actually, we won't go with steps, I'll just tell you what to do. Okay, so you've got this, everything around it. Now, a lot of people will tell you, you've got to visualize like a fifth hand, um, a third hand coming out, like, out and like, like a hand from your head or some sh I don't know. But yeah, coming out and grabbing it. Like, and pushing it for you. Like, you're not physically touching it. 
It's just mentally you you've created a hand that's pushing it. That's bullshit. Okay. How are you supposed to work with a hand that you have like? Oh yeah, I'm going to create a hand in my head. This is a hand that you have never seen, like felt before, as if it's going to work for you. What you have to do is just look at the object, look at the environment. Say, just like, just like in your head, just figure out if you were to actually physically touch it, how would it go? If you were to get your hand right, whichever hand you work with the best, like I'm a right-handed, I'd get my right hand. If you were going to grab it and push it, try and just do it for a few times, just see how it goes. Just over and over, just as long as you need to do it. Seriously. When I first started, I, need, I did this for 10 minutes before I actually, like, but, like, from here to here. Seriously, I went through a whole table just like this. 10 minutes when I first started. Even before that, I was doing it for half an hour. Like, I've heard people that just sat there, and it's ridiculous, and I wouldn't have done it. Like, if, if I knew that, like, I had to do as much as they did, they did it for about an hour and a bit. Now, imagine doing this for an hour and a bit. I'm saying, if you're willing to put that time and effort in... By all means, do it. But me as a person, luckily, I was able to do it a lot faster. Okay, sorry about that again. So yeah, just keep doing that until you sort of see how it goes. Be consistent. Don't go like this. Okay? Be consistent. Just go. Ahead. Okay, and then go back to the start and just try and recreate that experience. Don't use your hands, don't visualize your hand doing it, visualize your head doing it. Okay, so you gotta go, all right. Um, I forget what step I'm up to because I'm not going off um, a little, a little, a little script thingamajig, so I don't know what step I'm up to. Um, if that doesn't work for you, maybe you should try, oh, pardon me again getting into the right state of mind a lot more like maybe for about 15 if you're going to do it for about 5 minutes do it for 10 minutes do it for 15 do it for as long as you get comfortable with your surrounding environment and you're doing this you should be able to get it at least probably a, few, a centimeter at least you're, you should be able to move it okay um that's that's pretty much how I got started with telekinesis so just saying. Um, that's that's been my video for the first um, first video, really, of how to do telekinesis. Sorry that it's taken forever. Um, I will post up a second video for um, different techniques on how to do it. So when I hit 200 subscribers, um, I will post up that second video, and I promise that I will do it as soon as I hit 200 subscribers. Sorry about the, the delay, but yes, yeah, sorry about that. Um, Yes, yeah, so I'll just quickly go through the steps. In your head, get in the right state of mind. Pick a light object. Um, do this. Do it in a straight line because I was just rushing then. Okay. Um, sorry, I'm, I'm just rushing through this. Okay. Um, yes. Do the hand, then stop, and then try and recreate it without using your hands, and just see how as far as you can go. Um, yeah. So see you guys.